Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make these adorable little candy corn keychain and lanyard clasps. They're very simple, easy, work up very quickly, and yes, I do sell several of these at my local craft shows, especially this time of year. To create these, we'll need a few supplies. I'll be using a three and a half millimeter crochet hook. You may want to use a stitch marker in order to mark your beginnings of your rows. We'll need a pair of safety eyes for the eyes. We'll need a darning needle in order to weave in ends and also for sewing on our mouth. We'll neither either need a lanyard clasp or a key ring with a spiral jump ring attached to the ends. We'll need a pair of scissors. We'll need some stuffing. And for this, we'll need our yarn. We only need maybe, I'm gonna say nine inches worth of black yarn. And then we'll also need yellow white and orange yarn in order to create these. It uses very little, maybe less than 20 yards of each color. And for anyone about supplies and everything needed, I will actually have linked in the video description box below a direct link of where I actually buy all of my supplies for making these. And also, if you're interested in a ad-free PDF version of this pattern, it would also be linked where you can purchase one in the video description box below. To begin this pattern, we're going to start with our white yarn, leaving a tail end of at least six inches. We're going to create a magic ring. Secure it with your chain one. And then into the magic ring, we're going to put six single crochets. Now that we have our six single crochets into the ring, we're going to take our tail end of the magic ring and pull it in order to close. Then we're going to bring our tail end to the front. Normally we would work this in in order to close up our tail end, but our tail end here, we're going to actually use it later to attach our lanyard clips or key rings. For round two, we're going to come in to our first single crochet from the first row. We're going to put two single crochets into your first stitch and then one single crochet into your next stitch and then you're going to repeat that two more times two single crochets into your first stitch one single crochet into your next stitch so round two we'll end up having a total of nine stitches made And there we are for round two. For round three, it works similar to the first, but into our first stitch, we're gonna put two single crochets. And then we're gonna single crochet once into our next two stitches. And we're gonna repeat that two more times two single crochets into your first stitch, one single crochet into your next two stitches. And round three, we'll end up having a total of 12 stitches. And there we are for round three. For round four, we'll single crochet two times into your first stitch. and then single crochet once into your next three stitches. And then we're gonna repeat this two more times, two single crochets into your first stitch, 
one single crochet into your next three stitches and round four we'll end up having a total of 15 stitches and there we are for the end of round four for round five we're going to single crochet two times into your first stitch and then we'll single crochet once into your next four stitches and then we're going to repeat that two more times two single crochets into your first stitch one single crochet into your next four stitches and round five we'll have 18 stitches and there we are for the end of round five but before we tie off we're going to pull down our last stitch this seems to help hide the end a little bit better in my opinion so don't finish off that last stitch and then we come in and cut our yarn from here we're going to switch over to our orange yarn so we're going to finish off that last stitch with our orange now going ahead for round six we're going to single crochet two times into your first stitch with the orange and then we're going to single crochet once into your next five stitches and then we're going to repeat this two more times two single crochets into your first stitch one single crochet into your next five stitches and this round will end up having a total of 21 stitches made and there we are for the end of round six for round seven we'll single crochet two times into your first stitch and then single crochet once into your next six stitches and we're going to repeat this two more times two single crochets into your first stitch one single crochet into your next six stitches and this round will end up having a total of 24 stitches and there we are for the end of round seven for rounds eight and round nine we're going to single crochet once into your next 24 stitches and at the end of round nine we're going to finish off and not complete the last single crochet stitch of that and here we are at the end of round nine so from here we'll cut our ends with our orange and remember not finishing off that very last stitch then we'll switch over to our yellow yarn to finish off that very last stitch now from here for rounds 10 and 11 we're going to single crochet once into each of your next 24 stitches and here we are at the end of round 11 for round 12 into our first stitch we're going to single crochet decrease so go into your stitch pull up a loop go into your next stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all three loops and then we're going to single crochet once into your next 10 stitches
And then we're going to single crochet decrease again. And then single crochet once into your next 10 stitches. And here we are for the end of round 12, which had 22 stitches total. For round 13, we're going to single crochet, decrease, and then single crochet once into your next nine stitches. And then single crochet decrease. And then single crochet into your next nine stitches. And then from here, we're going to draw up a long loop. I like to leave it about 12 inches long, just because we'll be using this to sew our end clothes. And it's easier to cut off extra yarn than it is to add. And there we are for the end of round 13. Now from here, we're going to start adding our face onto here. Now what we're going to do is look into between the first and second rows from our orange. We're going to insert our safety eye into there. Now if you see there is one stitch and then we had an increase and another stitch. I'm inserting my eyes onto either side so we have a stitch, an increase, and a stitch between the first and second orange rows. Attach our backs to our safety eyes. Now we're going to take some of our black yarn, thread it into our darning needle. Now to attach our mouth, we're going to take coming in from the back right into, here we are, we had our rows between these two for our eyes. And we want to come in right in the middle of, this would be our third row for our orange. And we want to put it just to the outside of the first eye. Pull our yarn through, not all the way. We want to make sure we keep a tail. And then come across right into the same spot, right about halfway through that third row of the orange, and come down. And then we're going to come right through at the center bottom, bring our yarn up and in, and then loop right back through, down. This just secures the bottom of the mouth so we keep our little smile onto our candy corn. Cut our ends and then tie our ends to secure. Now from here, after we have our face onto our candy corn, simply take our stuffing 
and stuff up our candy corn. Once you have it stuffed to your likings, thread our yellow yarn, which was the bottom, through our darning needle. Now, because of where we did our decreases, it created like a little bowing in. So what we're just going to do is come through and using front loops only. So looking at this side, it'd be the front loop. On this side, kind of the back loop, so the one farthest away. We're just going to come along and sew our little piece together, kind of smushing it in half so it creates the base of our candy corn. And then I do like to come back through, give it one extra little stitch throughout all these stitches. And then go ahead and weave in your ends. Now for our last step is to attach our key ring or our lanyard clisp. Now to sew this on, thread the white end through the darning needle and go into the spiral jump ring. Pull it down, then right into the top stitches. We're just gonna sew, looping back and forth to attach that jump ring. And weave in our ends. And there we are, we have our Amigurumi Crochet Candy Corns. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a little thumbs up, like, let me know in the comment section what you think. And if you have yet to subscribe, go ahead and hit that little subscribe button with that bell notification next to it so you can get a heads up every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.